Welcome to our home. Here are some tips and tricks. I don't know about you, but whenever I use these plastic bottles of oil, they get very messy and it leaves this horrible residue on your finger and then you just have to wash your fingers. I think a much better solution would be to buy one of these glass bottles with this cork, with, with this um, spout is it or is this um and it has a, a pouring bit that is like this and then whenever so i will demonstrate so whenever you need it you tip open this and then you pour it out as so so let's fill this up shall we so i have a little bit of rapeseed oil left and then i also have another rapeseed oil that I just bought. So I'm going to fill my glass bottle with the rapeseed oil. And it would be so much better than dealing with this greasy plastic bottle. So now I'm going to open the other one and do the same thing. Because they are both rapeseed oil and now I need to... So this is interesting because it has this plastic um, seal so that it proves that it wasn't tampered with. So, so that's a pretty big opening and I think this... I would use way too much oil this way. So a much better way to do it is to, so that's why I think this glass bottle is so much better because I think it helps you use less and we are all trying to watch our weight and be more healthy right now. So I think this glass bottle with its sealable top and um, pouring would um, allow you to use less oil in the long run. So you just put it in as such and so then this would um, probably take us a while to use and I think I'm going to label this later because I'm also going to do the same thing with the all with the mild olive oil and it looks basically the same so I think I do need a um, sticker to show what each type of oil is but I think this is a nifty um, gadget or um, utensil appliance or kitchenware so I think this is good for the environment and at least it won't leave the oily residue behind we are going upstairs for the next section but this will happen after the break I know that you need to make a confession you have not subscribed to our show but there's still time to do it just hit the subscribe button good tip and trick for you. Come on in.
You're getting into the bath, Paul. <laughs> I am. Okay, so I need to show you something. So this is it being shut. This is it being open. There is an in between. So there is another latch right here. So there is a bit of space in between. And then this will bring air in without um, getting the room moldy or um, because that's what happens when you don't have the window open. So it's a really good idea to have it partially open and locked so that you kind of do get the best of both worlds. I have one more tip and trick for you, but watch this first. Yes, hello? Oh, you want to subscribe? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. When you are traveling, you want to save as much space as possible because space is a premium. So I do have a variety of different garment um, type of organizers. This is a small one. This is also a small one. This is like the step up and then this is kind of like a larger one. So why don't I use the larger one to show you what I mean. Okay, take these t-shirts for instance. To save space, you just simply roll it up. Roll it up rather than folding and then it just goes in the corner as like this. So then you keep rolling. I think this is a nice and nifty way to do things. Like you don't normally think that this would save space, but look, there's like four t-shirts and it, and it, it barely took any space at all. So let's maybe cram a few more in. This is really, really fast, I think. Well, I think this is a good idea because you get to see what colors you are bringing and then you also are able to maybe squeeze more, um, more things in that you might not be able to if you just plop them all in. I think this is a good way to kind of get more of a visual of what you are bringing. Well, now that I've rolled all these up, I think it's time for me to go on a holiday. See you next time.